Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Rick. Welcome to Crown Rick Auto. Welcome to building a Las Vegas Police Department vehicle. This is part three in part two. We got the lights hooked up. We got the touch master set up. We got the sirens going. We painted the black parts. So now we're gonna continue with building the vehicle. Before we get started, let me show you what I just bought. I'm gonna search it for goodies, weapons, guns, equipment. I'm gonna use it for parts for the Vegas project, but my main focus right now is getting it off this trailer. It's stuck, so we gotta force it open. Almost got it, almost got it. Yeah. Holy mother of goodness. Engine's untouched, huh? Okay, so this guy is gonna pull it with his excursion. Let's see how this goes. Bro, start the you truck. you started dragging the truck too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right there. Oh man, we messed up the bumper. So I'm gonna remove this bumper right now and try to figure out if I can salvage it or I'm gonna have to get a new one and then I gotta install the Go Rhino push bar on there. okay so the bumper is stuck because this bracket right here is bent so i'm gonna go ahead and try to heat it up and see if i could bend it back piece of junk okay so the heat thing worked not by bending the metal oh that's hot but by melting the plastic around it but hey if it works it works time to install these babies okay got the first one in yes i got it hooked up now great success now all i need is the bumper i just want to pet you chase back away from the camera hey yeah let's do the good boy i brought this home i'm gonna drill some holes because i got these two square siren speakers because if you look on the picture there is two square size speakers that go to it. Chase, come hold the camera for me. Okay, now it's done and I added that Metro sticker on there. That's not the official sticker. And check these out. I bought them to go with the Vegas project. It is an exact replica. And this one I'm going to be giving away to subscribers here soon. I will engrave it in the back. More details to come very soon. And I also brought these home with me so I can clean them while I'm at it. Look how clean it is now. ta -da! Nice and shiny. Show us your best trick, Chase. The one where you could take a nap. So the very next day, I headed to the junkyard in search of that bumper. And what is this? Look what these people did. Is it a good idea or a dumb idea? Either they're smart or very stupid. Okay, from the junkyard, I found this perfect bumper. It's already black. I don't have to do anything to it, but put it on. I also decided to grab a different trunk lid because the other one was in really bad shape. So I'm just gonna have to paint this one white. Okay, so I got the Gold Rhino brackets installed. I got the bumper. I took off the hood last night so I could paint it more efficiently. I started water sanding the back to give it that extra shine. I'm also going to be removing the trunk lid so I could paint it more efficiently as well. But today I am going to focus on cleaning the interior because it is disgusting in here. It smells like a dog's butt and it is dusty as hell. So let's get to it right now. Okay, we're going to start by removing the seats. Check this out. Tell me why I never noticed this before. This is a sick find. It's an expensive fan. All right, let's test to see if this thing works. 
Oh yeah. Chase is gonna love it. And look how disgusting it is. Holy crap, there's like rodent poop, mold, grime. This is not gonna be an easy task. Look how disgusting this is. We must continue, but check this out. I found this Ricky Henderson card. This cop was on the way to sell this and make some money and then it just got lost in the Crown Vic black hole. You owners know what I mean. <laughs> and look at that, just like new. Okay, actually, I'm gonna be removing these because look at that there's dog hairs everywhere in every crevice and it's probably better if I take these off take them home and get deep deep cleaning with this if I don't get rid of these dog hairs it's always gonna smell like a dog's butt in here damn this is not good this guy ran the wire through here I can't pull the seat out In case you didn't know, light bars are very heavy. So I took it off so I could work on it better. And I could work on the roof better too, because this is pretty bad. Oh look, it's the McDonald's winning piece. I could clone the canine with this DNA. And look how I get my electricity. <laughs> I got a generator to power the shop vac and the shampoo machine. Okay, check these out. These are looking pretty bad, so I am gonna have to restore them. Chocolate milk. Ooh, those are nasty. Just like new. Okay, I was about to start this up and go take it out for a spin so I can show you guys how amazing this thing drives and something very strange happened. Check this out. When I connect the battery, you see that? It starts, it's so weird. There's not even any key in the ignition. And the worst part is that the starter keeps going. It kept turning and turning. And I was uh, afraid it was gonna catch fire. Even when I disconnected it, it was still running. It was crazy. And it finally died by itself. Uh, I'm gonna call a mechanic. I'm pretty sure it's something small, no biggie. Probably has something to do with the wiring. You know how these uh, K9 units have all this special extra functions like remote start, automatic window roll downs, air conditioning pops up automatically. So it's probably a little small wiring problem. That just sucks that I can't take it out for a spin. Okay, I figured out the problem. It was one of these things has a remote start in it and somehow it got stuck. As long as I keep those disconnected, I should be fine. Chase, show us a trick. Show me a trick. Sit down. Sit. You got so big. Look how freaking big he is. If you guys are wondering, the reason why he doesn't really come out in videos that often is because it's really hard for me to take him out to the yard because it's just not safe for him there. There's the speeding trucks there, there's ticks, there's bottom feeders, tweakers, loyalist. You know, it's just not safe for him. So consider becoming a channel member. That way I can get enough money to rent my own shop. <laughs> 